Have you ever made that statement? Oh, I could never do that. Oh, that would that would never be me. Welcome to today's daily devotion. Let's talk about that for just a moment. In our scripture today, we're going to read uh, some scriptures very strong. But today's title is "Don't Let It Be You." Don't let it be you. In the book of Mark in chapter 14 and verse 18, and it says, I tell you the truth, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. Here it was that Jesus had the disciples sitting around the table with him. And, and we know this story. This is about Judas. And Judas uh, had already sold out the Lord. And, and, and But but listen, let's, let's go a little bit deeper than that. Let's go a little deeper than that because, you know what, Judas was a disciple. You know, he was one of the Sunday school teachers. He was one of the church leaders. He was one of the deacons of the church. He was, he was one of the ministers of the church. He was one of those that all of us Christians call ourselves to be. He, he held an office in the church. He, he was the chief. Uh, he was the, he was the uh, collector of the money of the church. He was the treasurer, the chief treasurer at that of the church. And, and he sold out. He was a born again Christian. To, I mean, he believed God. He believed that. He believed that, that he was his serving the right God. But you see, he allowed somebody to come and betray. Uh, come, yeah, he allowed somebody to come and betray him in his mind. And that was Satan. And saying, you know what, Judas, hey, man, look at all this money. You know what, God doesn't need all this. And, and so he sold him out. Just sold him out right there before his face. And when he placed that kiss. But you know what, don't let that be you. Because we can make that statement. We can serve God and serve God and serve God. But then we can also hear those words that says, I never knew you. I, I, I never knew who you were. So we don't want to get in this situation with God. So we don't want to let that be us, the one that sells Jesus out. We don't want to get comfortable where we are in our relationship. We see this happening so many times in the church today. People get saved and they say that they are born again and they believe in Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and they just carry right on through life. They never get off the milk. He says you got to get off the milk and get on the meat. We got to grow in our relationship with God because if we don't grow in our our relationship with God and get deeper, deeper, and deeper in love with Him and know more about Him, then the world will come and we will betray Jesus Christ. We will betray Him just like Judas. You see, me and you could be Judas. Me and you could be Him just like, uh, just as we could do the same thing to our Savior as what Judas did. It's very easy. But I'm telling you today, don't let that be you. Don't let that be you. God bless you. I hope this is a word to encourage you. We'll see you again soon.